Hello from Slovenia again. Today I will do a double dip with two 8 by 12 inch canvases. And I just want to talk a little bit about dips, double dips, reverse dips, flower dips. <coughs> dip is an acrylic pouring technique that it's uh, <laughs> old. When I start pouring a few years ago, dip was nothing uh, special but with dip you have so much possibilities because you can pour your paint on your plastic on your surface dip your canvas and if you will lift it like that or ride up or how you will pour your paint it will create certain pattern and you can of course dip two canvases together and lift it again like that, like that, and you will get a different result. But what I normally do, do when I say that I will do a double dip, I lift my canvases vertically and spread paint. And with those dips that you just lift your canvas, you normally end up with a lot of color on paint on one and not enough kind of on the, the on one on the second one uh, and with this double dip paint will slide down and it will create sometimes some um, tree effect or today but today I will just pour cover my canvas is with titanium white mixed with pouring medium and I did add a little bit of Vallejo's polyurethane satin varnish to it just to maybe get some more ethereal look and this technique is really nice because when you have some paints maybe in your squeeze bottles that you need to, to use or in the cups because you don't need a lot of paint just a base it's a technique with kind of kind of a lot of negative space not always <laughs> i tend to put too much color sometimes and then you know you just lost lose uh, all your beautiful stuff. Uh, you don't want to add too much of a base, but not too little, you know. It has to be covered just the right amount. It's hard to, to tell, you know, on this canvas you have to add this um, amount of paint for a base for this technique but you just have to play you know add this amount and that amount and it's all about experimenting uh, and this is why I like fluid art acrylic pouring because you have so many options to try to try this and that and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but it's a part of a process. If I bore you, please fast forward. <laughs> um, but these are things, you know, that it's uh, good to know. If you, if, if you are here just to watch, you know, maybe it will... Just to watch art, not to, to learn, or how can I say, but some people come to my channel that want to learn and they want to know those kind of, of informations and um, I know how it was when I started I think that it's, it's it will be four years probably okay so today I will really try to go with kind of soft thing and I will just try to do some drips not normally I do 
just drizzle some paint kind of here but today I will not do stripes I will try to do more like just some drips of paint this is Azo Yellow Light by Amsterdam and I will do it on both sides okay and some 24k gold from the card this one is a little thick thicker I love to have those extreme sheen paints a little thicker because don't like that they spread all over I like to have them nice I don't know if your metallics are too thin they tend to you know just spread over the other colors and give us give us a kind of a sheen but I don't go for that today and I will add some permanent red violet I like to use this combination you probably if you watch me more you probably know that I don't know how this will work if it will work at all with those strips only but should create something <laughs> surroundings okay <clears throat> and some pearl white Oop. Oop. I hope that it no it's not too thin this is my pearl white mixture Vallejo pearl medium with titanium white and my pouring medium so and Amsterdam greenish blue I'm really curious how these dots will turn out <laughs> Just some green drops. This is green gold. And some olive green light. Maybe just some pearl white here on those. Okay, so let's see what will happen. Okay. I will rest just a little bit right now okie doke let's see
doesn't make a big difference that I did just uh, But I like it. And I don't know why I was thinking about that to dip it again and do it to that side to see what will happen. Let's try that. Because I, I already have almost exactly the same double dip that I got today. So let's see. I never done that before, so think about it because I kind of like it but I don't like this separation here so I will just try to play a little bit So here is a close-up and I really like it, like this different, maybe here, here is almost, you know, like that you see canvas through. And I kind of see two creatures talking to each other or <laughs> what, I don't know. But I like it, have to say. Uh, so, so many different possibilities to try. This was one of them. And see you on the next one. Bye.